Oh, baby. That was an insane pop. Anyway, after that explosive intro, like, you know, do you get it? Because the exhaust went pop and... I, okay, no. But uh, anyway, what is going on, ladies and gents? Hope everyone's having themselves a awesome day. I've just finished work myself and, you know, I was getting to the bike and I was like, right, action camera is on. GoPro is recording. What do I motor vlog about today? As in, literally, I have so many different subjects and content that I want to get out to you guys as soon as possible. Do you know what? All that other content right now isn't important. Let's put that all to one side for a split moment because I'm literally so triggered right now. So last night I spent, I don't know, a, pr a pretty good two, maybe three hours setting up my new microphone for the GoPro. Now don't get me wrong, I don't really mind doing that because it's uh, time well spent and you know, do it right, do it once sort of thing. But it was literally so much faffery. I had to sort out the cable management because obviously you've got the GoPro, um, but the case for the GoPro doesn't have a hole for the adapter for the microphone. So first things first, you need to obviously make a cutout so that you can still protect the GoPro and use the USB to microphone adapter. And then of course, after that, you've got to then manage where you're putting all your cables for the adapter and the microphone itself. You know, them things come with like meters of cable. I don't need meters of cable. Then of course, you've got mic placement and then you've got setting up your dead cat because we all know no one likes wind noise. So of course, if you're not purchasing some sort of boom, then obviously you need to, you know, it's simple and easy enough to set up your own dead cat. And then you've got trial and error. You test it, you see how you get on and you adjust as necessary. But um, not just with the GoPro, I have these issues. I had it with the drift. It's just so much faffery. But anyway, the GoPro set up now. Those of you who follow my Instagram, you already seen the photo last night. I'm really happy with how we've got it set up now. There's literally near to no cables flapping about, which is nice. And I can disconnect the GoPro, change the battery with a lot of ease. In regards to mic placement, I might sort of vary that up depending on how well the audio comes out. Um, and I've literally just used some fluff, stitched that onto the mic to try and act as a microphone boom and hopefully to prevent some of the wind noise. You can never make it perfect. You know, you're doing 70 miles per hour on a motorbike. Try putting your head in the helmet and see what it sounds like. It's, it's not great. Now there's a pretty big debate in regards to action cameras. You've got two big companies. You've got Drift, Drift Innovation, which do the Drift models. You've got the HD, the 1080p, the Stealth. Uh, they're soon to release a 4K model as well, I believe. And then you've got GoPro. Now, if you've not heard of either of them two, you've been living in a basement your whole life. They're both really well-known companies. GoPro probably more popular personally. Now, the great thing about the Drift is you pop it on the side of your helmet, you plug a microphone in and boom, it's just, it works. Now the GoPro is fancier, but it's a lot more faffery. And uh, you know, the adapter's 15 pound, everything's so expensive. You're paying GoPro price for batteries, for spare cases. The expense list just goes on. It just annoys me. It annoys me so much with how much time I have to spend messing about with that sort of stuff. Should be simple guys, you know? And I guarantee there is people that can just spend five minutes and do it. Meanwhile, there's me spending my whole evening just trying to uh, set up a microphone. But on a positive note, the audio does sound much better. And uh, in the long run, my life has just been made a hell of a lot easier. I put the GoPro to nighttime mode, but uh, like low light settings. But last time when I tried this, my camera just literally focused on the dashboard. To be fair though, the, uh, the fun has literally just begun. I still want to get a, another external microphone. Um, something to put in my bag or inside my leather jacket. Uh, just so I can capture literally crisp engine sound. So really, I guess this is just the beginning to a journey, but you know, getting these things right are very important for video quality. But it just freaking annoys me, man. Oh man, how I could do with a double decker right now. Double bloody decker. The bike is pure filth at the moment. It is literally my workhorse, my daily. But she goes strong, she goes cheap, 
we're all winners here. So what I'm basically trying to tell you guys is if anyone tells you, you know, get a GoPro, really easy to set up. 30 second installation. They're lying. For motor vlogging anyway, it's a real hassle with the mic adapter and then the microphone, the microphone placement. And then, ah, oh. but yeah, jokes aside guys, you know, Drift and GoPro are really good manufacturers and they do both provide really good products. But like, come on guys, let's have a little bit less faffery on the next models, please. Anyway, more to come in the next video in regards to the new GoPro Hero 5 and the Drift 4K. But that's it for now guys. So stay awesome and I'll see you in the next one.